Welcome to the first part of the series here. We're going to try to get Windows 8 on our beloved iPads. Uh, currently, there's no way to natively install Windows 8 on top of iPad, to my knowledge. But the easiest route I've come across is using Oracle's VirtualBox to stand up a virtual Windows 8 environment and then connect your iPad to that. So what we're going to start off with here is a Windows 7 laptop here running Windows 8 virtually through VirtualBox. Um, as you can see here, we have our VirtualBox VM window here. And I'm going to start off going through a few settings that we need to take a look at before you are going to be able to remotely access this from your iPad. So first off, you'll need to go out to Microsoft and get the latest ISO file and you'll want to load that in and probably get yourself a little acclimated with a couple of the features that VirtualBox has to offer like setting base memory processors things of that nature but what I really wanted to point out was what we need to take a look at and here are the settings for my Windows 8 VirtualBox machine and you'll notice that I have an operating system of Microsoft Windows, the version of Windows 7 64-bit. And I am running 64-bit locally on this laptop, so it makes sense just to use 64-bit for Windows 8. Um, under the system, I have allocated around 2 gigs of RAM and 2 procs to this virtual machine, and that should be completely suffice. And the other thing of note is down on the network section, I have set this to use a bridged adapter and where that becomes interesting this allows the virtual machine to use the network settings of my local computer so it'll route back exactly how it would if it was a local computer on my network so this is probably the best route for most folks and there is another option I will explain a little bit farther down the road but for now we'll stick with that and that's about it on the settings side and once you've selected that and defined the ISO under the storage section so under the IDE controller where mine says empty you're gonna to wanna to route that directly to the Windows 8 ISO and once you've done that you should be able to start it right up and be off to the races